Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today is squat day. As you can see, I'm warming up with 135 on the bar. I'm gonna try to squat as deep as possible, uh, trying to get that full range of motion. Hitting between four to five reps uh, for three sets. Next, once I get into my working sets, uh, put a little bit more weight on the bar, staying in around the same rep range, uh, but going for five sets. As you can see, my wrist position isn't perfect, and I'm going a little bit deep, but this is something that I'm going to actively try to work on. Hopefully, uh, I can track my own progression here. Um, hitting a good rep range, getting pretty deep in the hole. The squats overall felt pretty good. Now, adding even more weight, hitting the same rep range. Here you'll see, kind of going down a little bit slower, but it's coming up super fast out of the hole, so I'm just you know, blasting out of there. You can see my form broke down a little bit at the top. Uh, my back didn't stay as tight as I like. Next, continue my working sets. As you can see, I always try to flex my lats into the bar, trying to get in that thumbless wrist position. Deep breath, and boom. See, this is moving a lot faster. My back's not staying as tight, but overall, I, you know, I can recall if this felt pretty strong. So next, adding a little bit more weight to the bar, just taking my time, breathe, sink it all the way to the bottom, ride it all the way to the top. I can see my wrist position, my hand position is a little bit off, and as you can see, just translated into keeping my back tight, I lost it a little bit there at the bottom, but was ultimately still able to move the weight. So next, I got a good hold in the bar here, adding a little bit more weight. And this is a grinder, going pretty slow. Oh, here we go, going for the end of the triple. Uh, as you see, my bike, my back loosened up a little bit there. It just uh, didn't go as well as I would like. Next, we're going for a little bit more weight on the bar. Gonna try to hit as many reps as possible. Uh, usually around the range is two to three for me at this weight. As you can see, my back loosened up there at the top. Uh, definitely ended the set early for me. So, uh, this I'm not 100% proud of. I, I, I probably should have went down in weight just to get a full rep range, but instead I decided to ego lift, go up, and here I, you know, pretty much got stuck at the bottom. You can see my back just lost it completely. It almost looked like the weight was going to crush me. And trying for a second attempt. There, but my back's a little bit tighter. I think my foot position could be a little bit wider. And as you can see here, right at the bottom, just almost lost it again. It's, a, it's definitely a grinder. And here, definitely something I'm not extremely proud of, but it's always good to track your progression and just remember, you know, no one's perfect. You're gonna miss reps, you're gonna miss sets. It's gonna happen. So here, definitely just got stuck in the bottom. Uh, I think definitely my spotter didn't save, save me there, but hey. Well guys, that's the video. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more, be sure to rate, subscribe, and like, and tune in again.